Trends in Nepali Music, a program produced under the Sark Audiovisual Exchange, SAVE. Nepali music is believed to be the product of oriental classical music and folk musical traditions. The patterns in composition and the use of instruments is similar to the music of other countries of the Sark region. However, the variations in Nepal are as diverse as the country's topography and multi-ethnic tapestry. But much of the old traditions are getting sidelined today. The influence from the Western world can be noticed in much of the popular music today. In patterns of arrangement and instrumentation, the electronic gadgets and instruments are taking the place of traditional acoustic instruments. The rhythmic variations that we hear today also rely to a large extent on the electronic rhythm machines. A deviation from the traditional patterns of composition, instrumentation and vocal rendition started about the year 1960 with singers like the famous folk singer today Kumar Basnet experimenting with the peppy Yujovan Timilai Dimula. <laughs> You jump on to me like doula, Maya le Maya shati doula, Maya le Maya shati doula. Dorti kirani, timro jawani. Doula, you jump on to me like doula, Maya le Maya shati doula, Maya le Maya shati doula. Jiban Maya le Maya shati lula, Maya le Maya shati lula, Dati ki rani, timro javani, Dula, yo jo balti mi lai dula, yo jo balti mi lai dula. Mama, my le Roger Cotimi Pagreco Pool Tim Roger Vani Divan Mama, my le Roger Cotimi Pagreco Pool Tim Roger Vani Did it go direct? Eka banai, na chora ba malai. Dula, yo jo bati milai dula. Maya le Maya shati dula. Maya le Maya shati dula. Although it might have been difficult to impress and attract listeners immediately, a new trend was initiated and other singers also indulged in recording fast rhythmic numbers. Around the year 1975, Om Bikram who was regarded as the pop idol, started recording songs that became instant hits. Oh, 
जी रहे को योटा जीवन ममता में अल जी रहे को योटा जीवन कहाँ जाने कसलाई सोने कसलाई खोजने कहाँ जाने कसलाई सोने कसलाई खोजने ममता माल जी रहे जीवन Vocalists also came to the fore. Sukhmit Gurung churned out fast numbers that enthralled the listeners. This type of music was here to stay. Apart from setting a new trend, singers of the new generation started following the footsteps of these trendsetters. Here's Sukhmit Gurung with O Miru Priyatam. In the early years of the music industry, Radio Nepal was the only place for recording songs. Around the year 1980, private recording studios were set up. Today, there are over 50 music recording studios in the capital Kathmandu alone. With the setting up of a private 
FM radio stations in the country, the demand for new songs is on the rise. The demand for variety has led the singers of the new generation to experiment with instrumentation and rhythmic variations. The country's rich culture and folk musical traditions served as a valuable resource base for new composers. A new talent, Kim Gurung, draws on folk melodies and traditional rhythmic variations. Nepali music today is directionless and has lost its past beauty and glory. But amidst the apparent chaos, there are some serious composers and singers who are trying to restore the past glory of Nepali music. While adapting to the new trends in orchestration and instrumentation, some composers are drawing upon the classical and ethnic music traditions. Film music in Nepal is largely influenced by the Bombay film industry. The stress primarily is on the instant entertainment value. But pop bands and solo artists are trying their best to give listeners the music that they can enjoy and treasure. Naveen Bhattarai, a young talent, has already left his mark on youngsters today. The changing music scenario is not something unusual. The need is to retain a national identity in music despite the cross-cultural and global influences. This perhaps is the greatest challenge for musicians, composers and singers alike. You have been listening to Recent Trends in Nepali Music, a program produced under the Sark Audiovisual Exchange, SAVE. The program was produced by Pandav Sunwar, sound recordist Navaraj Kesey.